friends, it's Anna. I'm back to go over with you now what I plan to melt for Tetris Week here in the Two Seas collab. But before we get started, I'd like to take a second and ask you to please give this video a like, leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel, and just to welcome all of our new visitors here. Um, now, goodness, for the melting basket. For the, okay. I, again, have a day that's not going to fit, but we'll talk about that when we get to the end. I plan to melt some more marshmallow and mint cocoa because I didn't realize that your bricks would actually store better if you left them in the clamshells when I cut these up. I plan to melt some Arctic Kiss. These are the two bricks that I had cut before I knew better. I have my fun unicorn shape of Lilo Pop from Lovely Bath and Wax. I don't know about anybody else, but a loaf, once you cut it, is so hard to store. I plan to melt some of this dull whip wax. from Jim's Daughter's Crafts in my personal creation blend of Christmas Eve fuel. Not super, super hard to stack, but these bags are a little bit, just the shape and size of these bags is a little bit tricky. I have a broken up bar that literally when you when I put it back in the bag it literally looked like a Tetris game from a box of stuff that Edda sent me of crazy ex-girlfriend another piece of a loaf Merry Cherry Christmas from Savannah Blue This one, just because of the little whipped cream swirl on top, it kind of is hard to store. Uh, butterscotch plum. This was also in the bag of the box of stuff that Eva had sent the first time that we did a swap. Similar to a loaf, a souffle. Oh my gosh, you guys, when you cut a loaf or a souffle, this is Rainbow Punch from Salt Mountain Milks. Ghosts and Goblins from Rainbow Milks. Once you cut some of these shapes, they're so hard. I should have just left them whole. I didn't know. Jim's Daughter's Crafts. This was a bunt that I cut up. Um, Central Perk. Her scent notes are on there, but we'll go over them in the empties. This one is from Britta's. A shape that I should have cut up. Sammy. Or that I had cut up and I shouldn't have. This is another Britta's. Some little random pieces that Etta had sent me of autumn coffee. Again, things store better before you cut them. 
L3 Snow White Slumber. One of my favorites. I'm excited to get to that again. L3 Pineapple Coconut Leaves Fizzy Pop. In this little sample shape. random Scentsy sample in Shimmer. I think this is the last of my Bring Back My Bar from January samples. I have this cup from Jim's Daughter Crafts in Snow White, which is a Lush dupe. I have this random square, just because this one single square is really kind of tricky, in Cotton Candy, and this is an off-name vendor that I don't know. Then I have six different little pop-ums from Made to Milk because these little the lids don't stay on very well so it's hard to find places to put them safely. The pear. Vanilla Bean Noel. See, it's already diving off at me. Toasted Marshmallow. Magnificent Bum Bum. J. Rose Jam. And finally in these, Blackberry Beach Evening. Etta, Etta, honey, you know how excited I am to finish this up. But I'm excited that I have some that's ready to melt while my precious snap bar continues to cure. And finally, we're going to get to the melts that I have planned that do not fit this week's theme. I have in my hand here, and you guys bear with me, I know I'm not even looking at the camera, bear with me for just a minute. four Scentsy clamshells, which obviously stack very well together. But I will be melting them on Sunday the 20th. Sunday the 20th is a hard day. My precious friend Rita, it will be 21 years since her mama moved to heaven. And it's a very hard day but her mama loved her flowers so I have and so we think it's ironic and just a sign from God that she died on the first day of spring because she was checking on all her flowers before she left us so I have here comes the sunflowers a wink and a smile which this one is not, doesn't specifically mention florals, but it's got tulips and daffodils in the scent description. I've got blue hyacinth. Also happens to be appropriate because Rita's favorite color is blue. Um, and then spring forward for the first day of spring, I thought. Which I know time change was last weekend, but I thought it was appropriate for the first day of spring to have the spring forward flowers. So, if you guys will forgive me having 
two weeks in a row where the where I have days that don't fit. Um, bear with me, I'll shoot. Okay, I don't know. Okay, I think I'm still recording. I don't know. Um, my computer blacked out. If you guys will forgive me having two weeks in a row where, well, I feel like pretty much every week of the collab so far, I've had some day that doesn't fit. But if you guys can forgive that, um, please, because I am so enjoying melting along with you guys. But certain days just require certain scents. So I hope you have a wonderful week with your Tetris scents. I can't wait to see everyone's videos. And until next time, I will see you next time, friends. Bye, everyone.